What you guys today we're taking a look at how to switch back to Windows 10 start menu in Windows 11. So if you've got Windows 11 installed and you don't like this particular setup here where it's in the center of the screen, you will need to activate Windows 11 to actually move this over to the left. You can see this one's been activated and I'm going to quickly show you here how to move it over. So right click on your taskbar here and hit taskbar settings. And inside your taskbar settings, you can see its alignment is central and you can go over to the left here and drop this on the left. If you don't like uh, the way this is set up, you can also make changes here to your taskbar. As long as you're activated, you can um, disable the widgets and also enable widgets by just toggling these little switches on or off. So with that part out of the way, I did say that I can show you how to switch back to a Windows 10 start menu. You can see here, this is the brand new start menu. If you don't like this and you like the Windows 10 start menu, then you can actually go back to that. Let me show you how to do it. So open up the search and type reg edit inside here and open up the registry editor. This will open up our registry editor. And what we need to do here is navigate to this location here. We want to go to H key current user then we want to come down to where it says software open this up then we're going down to microsoft once we open this up what we're going to do is come all the way down to where it says windows here open this one up and then current version look for current version here click on this and open this up and then what we want to do here is come all the way down here then to see explorer open that up and click on it and then what we're looking for here is advanced. Click on the advanced uh, folder here and uh, you should be able to see a load of files inside here. So what we're going to do is right click on the right hand pane here, go new, D word 32 bit value. And this will give us a new value we can uh, edit here. So I'm going to put in a name uh, called start underscore. And then we're going to go show and then type that in with a capital letter and then capital letter classic and then capital letter mode. So show classic mode. Then once you've got this, you can double click on this and this will open up the edit the word 32 bit value and put one in there and click OK. Now, once we've done this, we can now close off the registry editor and reboot the system. So let's go ahead and reboot the system. And once we reboot the system, it will boot back up as you can see. And once this gets back to the desktop, we should have our uh, Windows 10 start menu system here. Let me just quickly log in here. And there we go. So let's go down to the start button. And there we are. We're back to the Windows 10 start menu. Now, if you want to go back to the Windows 11 start menu, then what you'll need to do is go to search and type reg edit here. Open up the registry editor and go back to the same location he was before. And what we're going to do is double click on the start underscore underscore show classic mode and put this as zero and then reboot the system. And this will put the original Windows 11 or so-called Windows 11 start menu uh, back to the way it was by default. So let's quickly reboot here and then log back into the system. And we can then uh, take a look. So all we need to do here is type in our password and we're back at the desktop and we can now click on this and it's gone back to the Windows 11 start menu. Now, of course, we still don't know whether this is going to be called Windows 11, uh, but I think now we can safely say that it is the actual release that Microsoft is going to uh, be doing on the 24th. There may be some changes to this at a later date, so stay tuned for that one. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.